it's Matt Heaton, and uh, today I am going to talk to you a bit about the Mixolydian mode. And uh, what I'd like to do is I'm going to talk about the mode in general and then show you a few uh, fingering examples in the keys of A, D, and G Mixolydian, which are, I think are the most common ones. So first of all, what is the Mixolydian mode? Um, there's a couple ways to think about it. Uh, it's a scale, okay? When you say a mode, it's a scale. You're talking about a scale. And what is a scale? A scale is a set of notes that gets you from one to another, one octave to another. Uh, so a, I'll do this in, uh, we'll do it in A first. So the regular A major scale goes like this. Okay, do re mi fi sol la ti do. The Mixolydian scale has a flat seven. So if we count the notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, starts over, uh, then that's major. If we say one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, that gives us a Mixolydian mode. Uh, another way to think of it is it is a D major scale, the notes in a D major scale, which would be, but instead of starting on a D, you're starting on an A. talk endlessly about modes, but we're not going to. The thing you need to know is the difference between a major key and a Mixolydian key is major has the sharp 7, the Mixolydian has the flat 7. All the other notes are the same. Okay, um, So it's just that flat and 7. That means the Mixolydian, Mixolydian mode is a major mode because the, the the one chord is major, okay? Versus there are other modes where the one chord is minor, the, the Dorian mode and the uh, Aeolian mode. Um, but Mixolydian the, is a major mode. That's the first important thing. Um, the uh, Just a, a quick thing about, um, about what to call it. Uh, people will say like, They'll, they'll use a few different terms for this mode, and they'll say uh, D-modal, or D-mix, or D-mixolydian, uh, or D-I think is another favorite, or D-minor, I don't know. Uh, but when you say D-modal, like, if someone says modal, they mean the mixolydian mode. That's, that's what they mean. It's a little imprecise because really everything is in some mode or other. So uh, I prefer, if I really want to spell it out, I'll say, and demixolydian is kind of a mouthful, mixolydian, you know. So demix will do uh, is usually what I would say. If I'm going to say anything at all, I would say demix. So if you're in, now we're going to go to A mix right here. And A mix is pretty common because uh, there are some, uh, like, there are a lot of tunes that don't, don't particularly like having a G sharp in them. Um, so... The biggest thing, the, the two main chords you get to play in a Mixolydian tune are the one chord, major one chord, and a major seven chord below it. So um, the seventh scale degree, that flat at seventh, play a major scale, or major chord, which is G major. Right? So if you just, the thing that you want to kind of stay away from is going... chords changing like that that's a little it gets a little clunky um, so here are a few tricks in in the key of a uh, we talked about this chord before the the a major chord up on the fifth fret so it's um, fifth fret sixth fret seventh fret on the those three strings and then you get the open a here and open e here and then you can slide that down and that's a that's a g chord over an A. Makes for a little more, uh, maybe a little more subtlety. Um, sometimes you can throw in a D chord. And the D I'm playing is this. So D. A, so third fret, second string, first uh, first finger, the uh, second fret, third string, and the fourth fret, fourth string. 
Things. That works up there. So this is this shape moved all the way up to the um, ninth fret. That's an A chord. It's a G chord. Okay. Um, now moving on to the key of D, uh, it's a little. One of the other things that you can do is rather than shifting the whole chord because in the key of D it's a little harder to do from if you're in the first position but you can just kind of stick and stick a C in there See? so um, what I'm rather than shifting rather than doing this to me is clunky. Uh, I'm just kind of adding the C note. And you can do it below the chord. So you're kind of letting the rest of the D chord ring. You're adding that. You could do it above the chord. You could play. So I'm playing the C with my first finger here. That's another, be another voicing of it where you lift off, let the G play too. Okay. And um, then just throw in a couple other chords. You could play. That's a that would now be a G over B chord. your D, your major D chord, and your C chord, so a full step below it. Um, third key that we want to talk about a little bit is G mixolydian. Uh, so if we're in the key of G mix, the one chord is G, and then the other chord, the seven, I call it the flat and seven chord, it's sort of, there's, there's not a, a great way to refer to it, but um, the, the chord, the other chord is F, that's correct. Uh, so it's a whole step below the root. So again, that the G mix scale would be. There's your F. So this one, it's a little trickier to finger. You got some choices. You can, um, if you want to have it a big big note. I'm in standard tuning, of course, and there's my G chord, and then I'm reaching the, the F down there. That's nice. It's a little heavy, um, so you you know wouldn't work in all circumstances. You can do this. Um, so remember that shape we were using with the A. We moved it down to the third fret. So here we got G. Uh, we'll do it third fret. So there's a second string, third fret. There's a B on the fourth fret of the third string and then the fifth fret of the fourth string. So that's a G chord. If I lift the middle finger off, then I'm playing G, G, B, um, which is a little more drony and works nicely if I then. So that, now I've just slid it down the same way I was doing this slide, but instead of going because I don't. The reason I'm not doing that is I don't have anything below it. So the way I would use this voicing is I would actually kind of mute that top string and play, you know. kind of my drony, uh, drony thing in that setting. Another another one that I will do sometimes is play out of this shape. 
which is, you know, my favorite. So root is down here on the low G, and then skip up to the, the um, B is on the, uh, sorry, fourth fret of the third string, and the D is on the third fret of the second string. And then check this out. To get my, my uh, F, So then I'm, I'm pivoting up, I'm leaving the G down there, and then I'm playing a C and an F. So the C is played by your ring finger on the 5th fret of the 3rd um, string, and then the pinky plays the F on the 6th fret of the 2nd string. Right, which is kind of a cool sound, I think. Um, you know, just as a, as a mixing it up. Um, things to remember about when you're playing Mixolydian tunes. Uh, generally, well, first thing is uh, a lot of them will, uh, they'll change. They'll, you know, be Mixolydian for part of the time and then change to maybe just a straight major. Uh, one that comes in, I was just humming the cook in the kitchen, which is a great jig that like the first part is Mixolydian and then it goes to just straight up major um, for the second part and then back to Mixolydian. Uh, there's, so there are tunes that get a little squirrely like that where you'll, you'll have the flat seven and then you don't have the flat seven. So it's all, of course, always paying attention and learning the tunes as much as you can. Um, sometimes, in a lot of tunes, the the flat seven is is um, not emphasized as much. Uh, so it's it's kind of a thing. That's the reason I'm I'm staying away from the 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 big changes. Is sometimes it might just happen, you know, just for a second. <laughs> So just sort of throwing it in like lightly can work work well. Um, and then the other thing is there are a number of D Mixolydian tunes that actually start on that on that C note. You know, where so you know, where so then. Actually, you know, you're starting on the the not on the root, we're not on the root chord. Does that make sense? Um, so, to generally speaking, how do you know if it's Mixolydian? If you're listening to the tune and you're like, "Wow, that sounds so major," but there's something weird about it, it might just be Mixolydian. So, A mix, your biggest chords are A and G. G mix, your biggest chords are G and F. Mix your biggest chords are D and C, and if you, you know, if for some reason there was some other key and it were Mixolydian, you would just play the major one chord and then go down a full step for the the other most important chord. Um, if you wanted to experiment with, you know, all the other options of chords, and of course there are, there are there are many, uh, then you're essentially thinking of, you know, if you're if you're if you're in A mix, the Scale that you're the, the 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 notes that you're playing would form the D the scale of D major. So you're starting on the A, but if you were to start on the fourth note, that gives you the that gives you that set of notes. So um, what I'm trying to say is, in A mix you can use chords from D major. In D mix you can use chords from G major. In G mix, you can use chords from C major, so the fourth scale degree of your of your actual root. Um, if that is unclear in any way, please let me know, and I can try and explain it a little better. Uh, we could go over, um, we can we can talk somewhat endlessly about the modes uh, and and how they're generated and what to do with them. But for for my money, the having a just a couple things in your pocket that you can use when you need them is is probably more essential than going through going through the whole thing. So I hope that this was helpful, and if you come up with any cool voicings, let me know. I'm always on the lookout. Uh, thank you again to Shannon for, for sharing the space here on the YouTube channel, and hope you guys have a, have a great time, and see you, see you in Mixolydian land. <laughs>